Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Azo TV. I'm here with Donna from Joel and Donna's going to introduce um, the portable multi-touch analytical SEM. Yes. This is our in-touch scope. It's our one of our entry-level SEMs in this product line. Uh, it does both variable pressure as well as high vacuum so you can really accommodate any sample type. Um, it has a very innovative and intuitive interface. You actually kind of has multi-touch gestures so that you operate it much like um, the smart pads and um, smartphones that are out in the market today. Uh, there's a lot of automatic features, so to turn it on, I just turn it on. And from a color image, I can drive anywhere I want to in the sample just by tapping on that color image. So I'm going to um, move to a, a geological thin section. Um, the other thing I can do is drag on the screen and there's also a lot of automated features here so I can automatically adjust the brightness and contrast I can zoom in I can ask it to focus for me <laughs> uh, so that uh, zoom in a little bit more so I am uh, looking at a geological thin section uh, if I want to adjust focus in any way, I can um, do this manually as well as using the auto features. Um, if you're a little bit shy about touching a screen or using kind of iPad-like features, you can still use just a keyboard and mouse and uh, just make adjustments to contrast and brightness um, with keyboard and mouse control. And for those traditionalists who insist on a knob set, a knob set is available so that you can change scan speeds, focus, go up and down in mag. So we try to accommodate the comfort level of all of our um, users with SEMs. Um, your imaging conditions are always displayed on the bottom and it's very simple to change. I'm using a secondary detector now. If I want some compositional information, I'll change that to my backscatter. Again, my favorite button, auto contrast and brightness. And now I have a, a different view of my sample where uh, I get uh, my grayscale has more to do with um, the composition of the material. I can actually have two detectors going at the same time. Um, I'm going to choose secondary on the left and backscatter on the right. So I kind of have one field of view that I can split either any way I like. So then I can present a field of view this way. I can even do kind of a picture in picture view where I can resize and move things around um, to get an understanding of composition of different areas if I choose to. I'm going to go back to a standard view and my backscatter. Um, with the 6010LA or in-touch scope, we have also integrated an EDS. It's a Joel EDS system. Uh, so just selecting the EDS icon, I'll go into um, EDS mode. Uh, if I wanted to take some quick spectrum, uh, I'm going to change the conditions so I can do this fast. And I'll just take a couple points. So if I want to know the composition of the gray area versus the white area, I'll select the points, hit start. It starts collecting the spectrum sequentially. It automatically identifies the peaks for me. I can enlarge that so I can uh, query the data as I go. It's now working on the second spectrum. If it misses a peak, until um, the counting statistics get right, I can just double click and it will give me the candidate elements, what might be possible for that area. Um, then if I want to, I can select the two spectrum and to output the results, I hit print, decide if I want Word or PowerPoint and output the data into a report. It's very, very simple. Um, when I'm finished, go back to SEM mode. I'm not going to save this at the moment. And I can move on to another sample. So very, very simple to operate. 
Brilliant, thanks Donna. And if our readers want to know a little bit more about the system, where should they look? Um, it would be great if they want to look at jeol.com or jeolusa.com. Brilliant, thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Cheers Donna.